Well, remember, we're getting uh, live coverage of the Nigeria-Gabon game. But meanwhile, before the start of the second half, some highlights from this uh, opening match between Tunisia and Mali. And that loud draw by the home crowd seemed to suggest that this was going to be their afternoon. Adel Salimi with that only clear-cut chance in the first 20 minutes of the game for Tunisia. But it wasn't to be. The real star of this game was going to be 23-year-old Koulibaly. Wonderfully exciting player. And these sort of flowing attack, just watch the way he takes this past the goalkeeper, who really ought to have done better, but the way he positioned himself, Koulibaly, to score the opening goal and slide it away was typical of his game throughout the afternoon. Elusive, tricky, a lot of pace, and the sort of player absent from the game we are watching, or will be watching in the, the second half, Nigeria against Gabon. Now, of course, the goalkeeper should have done better there, but I do like the way that Koulibaly allowed that ball to come across his body, just to leave it himself into position for a shot. Free kick, right on the edge of the box. And we had been told that uh, Mali had extremely expert free kick takers. And we weren't being kidded, as you'll see in just a moment. Blatant free kick. And a man coming forward to take it, just coming into the picture there, Sidibi. The goalkeeper organizing his defense and Sidibi creating I think a little ploy with these two players there Kulubi and we see and watch this well I think any player anywhere would be proud of a free kick finish like that you can understand the the joy of the Mali players to go two up against the host nation in front of a, a hostile crowd well you would have think they had won the cup themselves already gloriously struck free kick notice the goalkeeper putting his right arm across to try and get that now that means in effect he's not going to get the height he would have got if he'd gone to his left and up with the left arm so he might just have been at fault there and it comes back off the bar off his arm and into the net However, having said all of that, Mali deservedly up, well-organized defense, the goalkeeper in sparkling form. And in the second half, try as he made, Tunisia couldn't break down this defensive wall. Goalkeeper, as I said, really in very good form, but as El Majubi came up there, and Sidi following it up couldn't put it away Tunisia tried to open up the play in the second half they made some substitutions and Risi turning out to be one of their better players plays in French football of course now there were some controversial decisions in this game and that gave you an indication of uh, a team that had lost its way and there was a dreadful tackle by Hitri. He'd been booked in the first half but even for that single tackle alone a red card would have sufficed. It was a second yellow and red. There was no dubiety about it at all. The only thing I wanted to say is that in the first half he had tackled the player blatantly a free kick as a last line of defender in my view should have been red carded then. So off went Tirichi. A disappointing end, two goals down. 
and now minus one of their star defenders not a very pleasant afternoon for the hosts and oh dear oh dear we simply do not like to see football played like that he was going in to do damage the pressure really still on and the star Koulibaly almost making it three as I said proving to be very elusive quick little spurts just outside the penalty area that Tunisia had no answer to And so it went into stoppage time and a very dejected stadium. And that was perhaps his only mistake of the afternoon. Koulibaly really ought to have made it three there. Getting right underneath it. The whole goal at his mercy. And there we are. And I think uh, the Mali players must have been surprised themselves a win against the host nation I'm not quite sure what it'll do for the tournament and the crowds but a very good result for an